death toll tops 5,100 patients are left to die in forgotten hospitals due to Turkey Syria earthquake. Thank you for watching UBS TV official. We promise to bring to you every news which has happened all over the globe. We finally arrived at the airport that was jammed with international charity workers who were exhausted after being put on hurriedly planned relief aircraft after traveling through the night. A spot in the arrivals hall was equally competitive with eager volunteers who wanted to aid individuals affected by one of the largest earthquakes ever recorded in Southeast Turkey. As a loud voiced organizer yelled for additional physicians and nurses to follow her immediately, the volunteers who were laden down with water assistance and hope made way. When we were ready to let the medical professionals handle things, we started traveling around Ufa's snow-covered roads to view the, dev to view the devastation the 7.8 earthquake had wrought. As a loud voice organizer, we weren't too far along our tour when we were directed to remnant of a seven-story apartment complex. It had been the residence of dozens sleeping families up until 36 hours before. The damage almost unimaginable. Two powerful earthquakes struck Turkey and neighboring Syria. 10,000 people are feared dead. Watch as aftershocks from the 7.8 quake bring down an entire apartment building. People run for their lives. This reporter is doing a live shot when a strong aftershock hits. He flees with everyone, and when the cameraman turns around, you can see what a close call it was. Then the reporter runs back to help a family emerging from the debris. He grabs a child in his arms and tries to comfort her. Yes, Cameras caught another building collapsing. <laughs> Drone footage shows the scale of the devastation. A desperate search is underway to find victims buried alive. Closer to home, a much smaller earthquake measuring 3.8 on the Richter scale was felt in Buffalo, New York this morning. Nerves were already frayed in the city that's been through so much recently, including this historic blizzard that left 47 people dead. The Buffalo quake did not do any serious damage. Could the two earthquakes be related? The Buffalo event was many hours later, and so 